YouTube, uh, David here. So today I wanted to do a video for you guys. Uh, it's been a while since I did one, but uh, I did buy a used Ford Ranger. So the Ford Ranger that I got, I feel like either the wrong transmission fluid was used, um, or either it hasn't been changed in quite a while. So I'm going to go ahead and basically it doesn't, I feel like the transmission just doesn't catch um, quick enough. And, um, that I'm usually used to. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a transmission service here. So unlike the other transmission videos I've done which came with a drain plug, Ford unfortunately for this model at least did not come with a drain plug. So basically you have to um, drop the entire pan, right, in order to get that fluid out. So you basically your drain and fill consists of actually changing the transmission filter, right, as well as you know, removing all the old transmission fluid out and then filling it. So, uh, for this job, I went ahead and bought a Mercon 5. So, there's a couple of different Mercons out there. Um, be sure to get Mercon 5. Mercon 5 is not compatible with the newer Mercon 6 or Mercon SP. And also, it's not compatible with the older versions of Mercon as well. Um, so, yeah, stick with Mercon 5. I got my funnel here. Uh, for the transmission fill part and also I have my transmission filter itself here so this kit comes with a gasket it comes with a filter itself it comes with a gasket you guys see here it comes with some o-rings for the filter itself as well as the uh, filter as shown and make sure that your kit also includes the bolt so actually the first one I got did not include it I had to go back and actually get the bolt um, yeah so uh, first step is of course uh, jack the vehicle up which I've done so already and let me take a look down here so unfortunately I kind of started a job already Typically, I like to do a step-by-step. -step. Um, so yeah, I do have jack stands, don't worry about it. I just have both the jack as well as jack stands supporting, so we're good and safe there. But basically, I started off with first removing... Now, there's a crap load of bolts on this um, transmission pan. So I went ahead and removed, started off removing every other one uh, besides the ones that I'm going to pivot from. So I decided I'm going to open from the front and pivot from the back. So in the back, I actually kept the bolts on and just kept on removing it, um, you know, every other bolt. Now, uh, it takes an eight millimeter. So see, eight millimeter. Now, after I removed every other one, it kind of started leaking um, from one of the corners. So I, that's why I got my uh, catch pan down here. And then slowly, I just started loosening up the other ones. And it's kind of an arduous process, kind of messy and arduous. Try to do it as clean as I can. Kind of wish I had a bigger catch pan, but uh, it is what it is. Um, so now it is it's still draining, right? I got one bolt left in the back. Uh, right now it's, it's still slowly, slowly dripping down. But um, I think I'm going to remove that last bolt and finally remove the pan. All right, catch you guys in a little bit. All right, as you can see, I got the pan out. And now I just have to bucket down the drain pan below to catch some drops. That's the filter we're gonna tackle next. But as you can see, this is the pan itself. I already cleaned the um, place with this gasket. Uh, looks okay. Uh, I don't see too many metal shavings. They're just thick little grime here. I'm told that's actually okay. I don't know what material that is, but uh, this is a magnet, and this is the next thing that I'm going to be cleaning. All right, guys, this is the uh, old transmission filter. I already moved the. I think for me it was actually a um, 12 millimeter bolt uh, located right there. Take that out, um, and next step is to actually pull it down. So there's two o-ring gaskets. I'm gonna guess there's ones here and ones there towards the end. 
It's basically just pull out, you know, pull it down and it will come out. Now let's go ahead and set up uh, our new one. So like I said, there's two O-rings, uh, one bigger one, smaller one. So before we put that on, what I like to do is first uh, oil it up, basically uh, lubricate it. That way it sits a little better. Uh, just go ahead and use the uh, new um, automatic transmission fluid, dip it in a little bit, and basically put it on. Give me some more. That should be good. Yeah. Seat it on there. Same thing with this guy. Seat it on there. You're good to go to put this back on. All right. All right, here we go, you guys. Make sure it seats properly, like so. Put it on. And now we're gonna go ahead and put that single bolt in. Just through this hole here. As you can see, tread it in with your hand. Make sure it's not cross-treaded at all. All right. Now we use our impact wrench. Not too tight. I don't want to strip it. There we go. I think we are good for now. Got the new filter on. So now let's get the uh, gasket back on. So I've seen some other videos, people have been using their old gaskets because it's actually uh, metal lined. The uh, replacement ones seem to be all made out of uh, rubber. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to take the old one, clean it, put the gasket on, and then put the pan back on and basically bolt everything together. Alright, see you guys then. All up here, now I have my drain pan cleaned. Basically just use a brake cleaner and wipe it down real good. Make sure you remove the magnet and wipe it out with a clean rag. Good to go. And also make sure to scrape off any of these edges on the side if there's some buildup. And since I mentioned earlier, I will be reusing this gasket. So make sure to clean that as well. Now, this being a gasket like this, I decided rather to take the safe approach and use some uh, sealant. I've used this black one by Permax. And we're gonna just go ahead and dab it in between these holes here, in these holes here, and then press it down. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. All right. As you guys see here, now I applied the uh, sealant on, just a little bit around the perimeter. So now we go ahead and place the gasket on. Make sure you uh, have it on the right direction. Make sure the holes line up. Cool. It might be beneficial to also apply a little bit of uh, sealant on the gasket as well. All right, let me just finish up here, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, mount the pan back on the transmission. All right, catch you guys later. All right, final stretch, you guys. So I finally got the uh, transmission drain pan bolted back on. Everything's good there. So now we're just left with actually topping it off. Now, what I read online is typically three quarts but um, I actually measured what is in my drain pan here and it's actually a four quarts so well it makes sense if four quarts drain out I'm gonna fill it with four quarts so here we go
full. Well, there you have it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill up this floor and then uh, start the engine. Go ahead and shift between the different transmissions. And uh, we go from there. All right. All right, you guys, now the final steps is actually measuring exactly uh, how much transmission fluid is in there, what the fluid level is. So to do that, make sure your vehicle is level. Go ahead and start up the engine. So I've already started the engine and the engine is warm now. It's best you do if it's warm. So let's go ahead and take a look at the dipstick here. Go ahead and wipe it off. Stick the dipstick back in the tube. And then pull it out just to see where we're at. So in this case, it looks like we are right between the... All right, we're right between the two dots actually so we're perfect all right guys this ends the uh, tutorial on how to change your transmission filter and also change your uh, transmission fluid in the pan all right have a good one you guys